Hi, I'm John Brain with the Harold Hybrids. We're out in the field today trying to assess whether or not the corn is going to make it. We just went through a pretty cold period, wet period, the extended period where corn really wasn't doing much. And there's a lot of questions of whether or not is my corn going to make it or am I going to have to replant. So today we're going to look at several different stages of corn growth, what to look for, and things that we can use to make that determination a little bit easier. So when we're accessing our stands, we have to think about what stage our corn plant's in. So when we think about corn that has not emerged yet, what we're looking for is a little bit different than corn that has emerged. So our corn that has not emerged yet, what we're looking for is determining the viability of the seed. That's the main source of nutrients and the supply for that corn. So we just do a simple squeeze test. We take that corn seed and we squeeze it. If it's firm, that means it's viable and it's going to continue to provide that corn plant the nutrient needs to grow. So as long as that is still firm, we're good. If we squeeze it and it's mushy and a bunch of water comes out, that means that seed is not viable and that will not continue to grow. For corn that has emerged, we typically are pretty excited about that because we think that it has made it and that we're going to be okay, but that's not necessarily the case. So when we dig up corn plants that are emerged, what we're looking for here is the mesocotyl. That is the, the area from the seed up to the crown or the growing point of that corn plant. And what we're looking for there are seedling blights. So those will be areas of this mesocotyl that are brown, they have, um, uh, it'll be uh, like a brown spot or even brown all the way through. What we're looking for is this. We're looking for a cream to white colored mesocotyl. That tells us everything is healthy. The other thing we're looking for is do we have any roots growing here from the crown, our permanent root system. That normally happens about V3. Once we have those roots up there at the crown, our seed and our seedling roots no longer matter. So we don't care what happens below there. So when we're assessing the viability of our corn, determining the stage is extremely important to know what to look for. So the final question is, I have my corn plant has emerged or coming through the ground, but my stand's not ideal. What populations do I want to look for or key into? So when we're looking at April planted corn, let's say for instance around that April 25th time frame, when you look at the research and the charts, they tell us we can live with a 20 to 24,000 stand and still achieve 92 to 97 percent of our expected yield. So by going in those fields that have 20 to 24,000 plants, we're not going to gain any more yield. It's just going to be a satisfaction knowing that we have 30,000 plants out there. So from an economic standpoint, that 20 to 24,000 and anything above that, at this point in time, we're going to leave and we're going to let that be our final stand.